in der späten Renaissance wurde das Interesse für mechanische The idea was to create some kind of a mechanism for reflection on uh, what libraries are that uh, will create some kind of a perspective on the arrangements that exist now. And the idea was to take some piece of uh, reading technology uh, from the 16th century, it's a kind of a Renaissance, uh, strange Renaissance reading machine, and to place it in the contemporary library so that people will be able to uh, say, oh wow, the experience of reading could have been so uh, different and was perhaps so different. So by uh, attending to the differences, it creates a process of self-reflection on the actual experience of, uh, of the library, of reading uh, in a contemporary uh, uh, book palace. We wanted our work to function as an indication, as a beginning of a reflection on the social history of libraries and of reading in general. And in a sense to have a contrast between the different arrangements as were in past libraries, in, they were often more private, and this new public library with its kind of high-tech mechanism, and to kind of show the continuity and the difference by presenting a work that has such a different structure of the user of searching the material, or the books come to you and you don't go to them. So it functions really as a reflection on the social history of libraries. In a certain sense you are comparing new technologies. It's just that one of them is from the past and one of them is from the present. And it is in the comparisons of new technologies that the contrast becomes interesting. In, uh, in that sense, that uh, if, if it became a standard uh, means of taking books, then it would have been uh, more or less a moot point. But because we are not familiar, it creates a certain uh, sense of a science fiction, but of a different kind. It's an important question, actually, of the distribution of weight. Otherwise, it's always... Yeah. This could yeah. be. It yeah. could be that the reason why it's... Uh, yeah. Because there's one here, there's really a lot more, and then there's a lot less. So it just proves it. It's not very well being. the instructions. The Parisian book is by Agostino Ramelli, Le Diverse Artificiose Macchine. Different diverse machines. And here there's a different machine. Yeah. What is that?